the show. Yeah. A show called Shithole. This is different. I, I didn't know Shithole was a show. Like two years ago, like someone said, hey, you should perform on the Shithole. To which I replied, well, what are you saying about my career? <laughs> I did not know. Uh, this is my second show of the month. By the way, I am black and I am transgender. <laughs> Basically, I'm one tweet away from a documentary on Netflix. <laughs> uh, this is my second show this month. I, had, I mentioned that for a very special reason. My first show, I was in front of an entirely kind of a different audience. Uh, some background, I do teach at the Second City. I teach stand-up comedy there. And one of my students just so happened to be an ex-cop, which invited 30 of his other ex-cop friends when I had my Black Lives Matter shirt on, on stage. I mean, you know, with my father being an ex-cop as well, I understand that there are some things that go into being a police officer. There's bravery, there's a lot of trust, there's honesty, there's video editing skills. You need, you need so much of what you can get. I try to break the ice with being transgender, and I explained that I look the way I do because my father's a native Chicagoan and my mom is Dennis Rodman. <laughs> people don't know how to react to transgender people. Example, I live in Ravenswood, where if you call the cops, they actually show up. So, uh, I live in Ravenswood. I'm stepping outside one day. I have a skirt on uh, that's a lot more colorful than this one. And I'm walking around, and there's this man around my age. He looks kind of disgusted when he's looking at me. But I keep walking away, minding my own business, and then I hear, Is that a skirt, bro? To which I reply, Yeah, bro. <laughs> Because that's the only way to respond. <laughs> then someone else came up to me, similar situation, looking at me, looking disgusted and all of that. But instead, he comes up directly to me. I never had this before. He looks at me up and down, and he says, hey, man, your daddy don't even love you. And I just thought, well, I guess you're my daddy now. <laughs> and yes, I've been a very bad girl. <laughs> my girlfriends love that joke. <laughs> All of my girlfriends. Well, here's the thing. I'll do some explaining. I have uh, one girlfriend. Her name is Kathy. By the sound of her name, I probably didn't have to tell you that she's white. <laughs> but she's white. Uh, we've been together for three years, and she still hasn't called the police on me for just sitting on the couch. So I think we're good. <laughs> and I say girlfriends because I have three different girlfriends. Uh, polyamory is a thing, and that's just how it happened. What it means is that when I get in, into a fight with Kathy, I have another bed to sleep in. <laughs> <laughs> One of my other partners, his name is Susan. Susan looks like Kathy, which is another way of saying that all white people look alike. <laughs> Susan and I went to get rolled ice cream at this one place, uh, I forgot the name, but I saw that they had different flavors, like uh, Venus, vanilla, strawberry sweetness, and then they explained that they had a banana flavor. The banana flavor, I asked the clerk, what is it? And she said, monkey lover. Now, as a black person, I can't order this. But for Susan, a white person dating a black person, she sure as hell better not order it. So instead, we had Trainee's Delight. It was delicious. Thank you so much.